Boeing's Starliner program is dead in the water, and NASA is in complete panic mode. Two astronauts trapped in space for nine months. Boeing burned through their last Atlas Far rockets, their $4.2 billion contract hanging by a thread. The shocking twist? SpaceX, Boeing's biggest competitor, just became their only hope for survival. Even Amazon's Jeff Bezos had to beg Elon Musk for help after refusing to work with him for years. But how did America's aerospace giant fall so far they need their rival to rescue them? Let's dive right in. The moment Boeing executives realized their $4.2 billion program was dying, they faced an impossible choice. Swallow their pride or watch American space independence crumble. What happened next shocked NASA to its core. Picture this. Butch Wilmore and Sunita Williams launched thinking they'd be home in a week. That was nine months ago. They're still up there, floating 250 miles above Earth, living proof that Boeing's revolutionary Starliner is anything but revolutionary. But here's what NASA tried to hide. They knew Starliner was broken before launch. Helium leaks, overheating thrusters, systems failing left and right. Yet they still strapped human beings to this ticking time bomb and lit the fuse. Why would they risk astronaut lives on such obvious garbage? Because the alternative was admitting that America's backup plan was a complete fraud. The numbers don't lie. SpaceX's Dragon has completed 13 perfect crewed missions. Boeing Starliner? Zero successful missions, not one. That's a success rate of absolutely 0% for a company that got paid twice as much as SpaceX. But the real nightmare was just beginning. While everyone focused on Starliner's technical disasters, a far deadlier crisis was brewing in the shadows. Boeing had built their entire program around ULA's Atlas V rocket. There's just one tiny problem. Atlas V is being retired, and Boeing just burned through one of the last remaining rockets on their failed test flight. Think about that for a second. Boeing spent over a decade and $4.2 billion building a spacecraft that depends on rockets that no longer exist. It's like spending years building the world's most advanced VHS player, just as DVD technology takes over. ULA's replacement rocket, the Vulcan Centaur, was supposed to save them. Instead, it's drowning in a backlog crisis that would make your worst shipping nightmare look like express delivery. How bad is it? Over 24 critical U.S. military missions are stuck waiting in line. The Pentagon is starting to panic about America's national security. But wait, it gets worse. Amazon's Jeff Bezos has already reserved 38 Vulcan launches for his satellite constellation. 38? That's more rockets than most countries launch in their entire existence? Boeing needs six more flights to complete their contract. Where exactly do they think they'll fit in this queue from hell? The math is absolutely brutal. Boeing has zero guaranteed rocket slots, facing a years-long backlog, while their $4.2 billion contract bleeds money every single day. Even if Boeing magically found a rocket tomorrow, they'd still face what engineers call the adapter problem. And it's way more terrifying than it sounds. Every spacecraft needs a custom adapter to connect to its rocket. Think of it like trying to plug a Tesla charging cable into a gas pump. It simply won't work without the right connector. Boeing spent years and millions developing Starliner's Atlas V adapter. This isn't just some simple plug. It's a life support system containing power connections, data links, and most critically, the abort system that can yank astronauts to safety if everything goes to hell during launch. Each rocket is completely different. Different connection points, different forces, different everything. Boeing would need to design, build, test, and get NASA approval for a brand new adapter system for any other rocket. That's easily two to three years of additional development time they don't have. But here's the truly terrifying part. The abort system has to be redesigned from scratch for each new rocket. One mistake in that system and astronauts die. The pressure is absolutely crushing and Boeing's quality control record lately has been questionable. Remember the 737 MAX? Two crashes, 346 people dead all because Boeing cut corners on safety systems. Are we really supposed to trust them with astronaut lives when they can't even build safe airliners? This brings us to the solution hiding in plain sight. 
The one that makes Boeing executives physically sick just thinking about it. Begging SpaceX for help. Falcon 9 is already approved for human flight. It's launched astronauts 13 times without a single failure. It flies more often than any rocket in history. SpaceX has the exact capability Boeing desperately needs. But asking SpaceX to launch Starliner would be like McDonald's begging Burger King to cook their Big Macs. These companies have been bitter enemies for over a decade. Boeing executives publicly called SpaceX cowboys who cut safety corners. SpaceX mocked Boeing's delays and failures at every opportunity. The irony is absolutely delicious. Boeing, the mature aerospace giant with decades of experience, would be crawling to the reckless startup they've spent years insulting. Think this kind of cooperation is impossible between rivals? Let me tell you about Jeff Bezos and his billion-dollar ego check. Amazon's Jeff Bezos spent years absolutely refusing to work with SpaceX. In 2021, Amazon signed launch contracts with ULA, European company Ariane Space, and Blue Origin. Literally everyone except SpaceX, the most successful launch company on Earth. Why? According to a shareholder's lawsuit, it was pure ego. Bezos couldn't stomach giving business to Elon Musk, even if it hurt Amazon's Project Kuiper satellite program. But reality has a nasty habit of crushing egos. When ULA's delays threatened to destroy Amazon's entire timeline, Bezos had to eat the most expensive crow in history. In December 2023, Amazon quietly signed a contract for SpaceX launches. The first flight happened this past July. SpaceX flawlessly launched 24 Amazon satellites using a brand new booster that landed perfectly eight minutes later. Amazon got their satellites on time and on budget. The lesson is crystal clear. When survival is on the line, even the biggest egos bend to reality. And Boeing's survival is very much on the line. But Boeing's crisis goes far deeper than wounded corporate pride. There's a political dimension that could reshape American space power forever, and it's ticking like a time bomb. NASA designed their commercial crew program with two providers for one critical reason, never depend on a single company for something as vital as human spaceflight. They learned this lesson the hard way when Russia held them hostage for years, charging $90 million per seat just to reach America's own space station. But what happens when political tensions threaten that carefully planned redundancy? President Trump and Elon Musk have a complicated, unpredictable relationship. Sometimes allies, sometimes enemies, always volatile. If political winds shift and SpaceX faces regulatory pressure or government hostility, NASA could lose Dragon access overnight. In that nightmare scenario, Starliner isn't just Boeing's backup plan. It's America's backup plan. The only thing standing between the United States and complete dependence on foreign rockets for human spaceflight. Suddenly, Boeing's struggling program looks less like a corporate embarrassment and more like a matter of national security. The stakes just went from financial to existential. This brings us to the ultimate question keeping NASA administrators awake at night. Is throwing good money after bad worth preserving American space independence? Boeing has already burned through their entire $4.2 billion contract and is paying for additional missions out of their own pocket. They're hemorrhaging cash on a program that has failed to deliver even one successful crewed mission after over a decade of development. From a business perspective, the answer is obvious. Cut your losses and run. From a national security perspective, the calculation is completely different. Losing Boeing would leave America with exactly one company capable of launching astronauts. That's not redundancy. That's a single point of failure that could cripple the entire U.S. space program if anything goes wrong. The math is terrifying. America spent decades and hundreds of billions of dollars achieving space independence, only to potentially lose it all because one contractor couldn't build a working spacecraft. Even if Boeing solves their rocket problem and builds new adapters, they still face the core technical nightmares that started this whole crisis. Starliner's thrusters overheat and shut down during critical flight phases. The helium system leaks, potentially leaving astronauts stranded without life support. The software has glitched repeatedly. Boeing keeps claiming these fixes are simple, but they've been making identical promises for over 10 years. At what point does simple become impossible? What makes this even more terrifying is Boeing's broader quality crisis. 
the 737 MAX killed 346 people due to design flaws and safety shortcuts. The 787 Dreamliner has faced years of production problems. Their space capsule parachutes failed tests. Their military tanker program was years late and billions over budget. This isn't a one-off failure. It's a pattern. Boeing seems incapable of building complex systems that work reliably anymore. Are we really supposed to bet astronaut lives on a company that's forgotten how to engineer properly? But what if there's a twist nobody saw coming? What if SpaceX's involvement could actually make Starliner better? Not just save Boeing's contract. SpaceX has revolutionized spaceflight through rapid testing, fast iteration, and aggressive innovation. They've mastered the art of failing fast, learning quickly, and improving constantly. Their Raptor engine went from a complex mess of cables and parts to a sleek, simplified powerhouse in just three iterations. Boeing, meanwhile, has been trapped in the same slow, bureaucratic development cycle that created this disaster in the first place. They're still building rockets like it's 1985, with endless committees, risk-averse managers, and a not-invented-here syndrome. A partnership could bring together SpaceX's operational excellence with Boeing's deep aerospace experience. SpaceX gets access to Boeing's decades of human spaceflight knowledge. Boeing gets access to SpaceX's revolutionary development and manufacturing techniques. The real question isn't whether Boeing needs SpaceX, it's whether this crisis could force both companies to evolve beyond what either could achieve alone. Here's the scenario that would truly shock the world. SpaceX doesn't just launch Starliner once or twice as a favor. They enter a deeper partnership that transforms how both companies approach spaceflight. Imagine SpaceX's Falcon Heavy launching massive Starliner cargo variants for lunar missions. Picture Boeing's aerospace expertise helping SpaceX perfect life support systems for Mars missions. Consider SpaceX's manufacturing revolution helping Boeing build spacecraft faster and cheaper than ever before. This isn't about one company saving another. It's about American competitors realizing they're stronger together than apart, especially when facing international rivals like China's rapidly advancing space program. The bitter irony? Boeing's failure might force the exact kind of collaboration that could make American space dominance unstoppable. Their weakness could become the catalyst for unprecedented strength. But that's only if Boeing can swallow their pride long enough to pick up the phone and make the most humiliating call in aerospace history. SpaceX, we need your help. The question is, will they make that call before it's too late? So here we are. Boeing's $4.2 billion disaster might actually become America's greatest space opportunity. Two bitter rivals forced to work together. A dying program that could spark unprecedented innovation. A national embarrassment that transforms into national strength. NASA got exactly what they feared most, dependence on a single company, but they might also get what they never dared dream, a collaboration that makes American space dominance unstoppable. The next few months will determine whether this crisis destroys Boeing's space dreams or forges them into something stronger. Either way, the space industry will never be the same. What do you think? Should Boeing swallow their pride and partner with SpaceX? Or is it too late to save Starliner? Let me know in the comments. And if you want to stay ahead of the biggest space stories as they unfold, make sure you're subscribed because this story is far from over.